Today's encouragement is about keeping your eyes on God's purpose for you. It comes from Genesis uh, 48, verses 3 and 4. Then Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty said to me, Behold, I will make you fruitful and multiply you, and I will make of you a multitude of people, and give this land to your descendants after you as an everlasting possession. You know, the phrase, you couldn't see the forest for the trees, is suggests that when you get too close to a problem, that you actually lose sight of the bigger picture. And it means that you need to step back, refocus, and get some perspective. What were the trees in Jacob's life that were so distracting that they could have taken his focus off of God's plan for his life? You know, the sins of his son, Judah, uh, the supposed death of his beloved son, Joseph, uh, a famine in Canaan that threatened to destroy the 70 plus members of his household, uh, the anxiety of sending 10 of his sons to Egypt to search for, in search of food, uh, the possibility of losing his youngest son, Benjamin, um, as, collateral, as collateral for food, <laughs> moving his household to a new land and new culture. And those are just the ones that we know about. But Jacob kept his eye on the prize. God's promise to create a nation through Abraham and Isaac and now him. Don't let the trees that you encounter in life take your eyes off of God's forest for you which is his everlasting plan for your life. You know, we have a lot of things that happen in our businesses daily and in our lives, in our personal lives. And, and those things, these problems can distract us from the bigger picture. And I think we as leaders need to stay focused on the vision and need to stay focused on the bigger purpose of what we're doing. And with that word of encouragement, God bless. We'll talk to you soon.